hello. Um, I'm Philip, and the monstrosity you're seeing on screen right now is uh, my attempt to recreate one of the algorithms used on the Bukla 700 synthesizer using Bitwig, uh, the Bitwig modular environment called the grid. Uh, I sort of came across this idea by watching Aaron Lanterman's videos uh, on, on sort of various old synthesizers. The Bukla 700 is a very early sort of FM-ish synthesizer. The problem is that these are very rare. Uh, you probably can't get it and it's a huge monster. What you're seeing here is just the control module. Um, they have a lot of configurations. Uh, some of these are more practical than others. Uh, I decided to go for this configuration 00. zero. I think that's more or less equivalent to one of the Yamaha DX configurations. Uh, so in theory, I could also have done it with just the FM4 instrument also within Bitwig, but with the grid, this also lets me simulate these sort of VCAs with three inputs within Bitwig. I can actually do a lot more because every oscillator, every operator has its own skew and fold control. So not only can I play with the ratios, but I can also play with the individual waveforms uh, skew and folding in addition to having like global distortion or a global wave folder. Uh, how does it sound? Well, uh, I do have it turned up. It sounds kind of like this. <laughs> a subtle bit of uh, vibrato there and everything else is basically just in here as you can see it uh, I do have this XY controller going into the amount of sort of ring modulation or AM that you get in indexes three and six this actually like at least in this configuration this provides a bit of movement but it's actually not as massive as uh, perhaps in some of the other ones let me do a bit of a chord and then start skewing So yeah, that's, that's another way to sort of reshape the sound, uh, add harmonics, that sort of, uh, that sort of goodness. Obviously you can do that with, uh, with changing the ratios as well. That's very good. One problem with doing instruments for the grid is that your control panel is either, well, you open the entire grid or you have these sort of remote control pages or these macro modulator pages uh, that don't actually hold a lot of knobs at once. Right, so let's, let's hear it in context.
for yourself the sort of sonic versatility of just this one setup with just being able to control the skew and waveform of each of the oscillators maybe a bit of the brat in there you can already create a, a very sort of rich evolving tapestry of sound all i have here is just what you're seeing on the screen a bit of Valhalla supermassive i absolutely love this patch that's why i'm making a video about this but i might try making some of the other uh, configurations available from from that page at this point it's a question of simply rerouting well simply rerouting which operators modulate each other and which go through which indexes until then i suspect i'm going to use this on a track somewhere in the future I do have some music coming out soon. Uh, I've uploaded it through DistroKid, so I don't really have too much control over when it comes out. But it's going to be good. Um, until then, you can follow me on Spotify uh, for new music releases. I don't upload videos very frequently. Still, maybe subscribe, I don't know. I feel weird doing these calls to action. Definitely check out Aaron Nantraman if you're interested in anything that goes behind the scenes of uh, making electronic music or just electronics in general. And I'll hope to put this up on, on my website, philipwheelan.com, at some point, maybe. Or at least I'll attach a link to this particular uh, grid patch in the video description. Until then, I've been Philip Wheeland, and uh, I hope you have a good day. Bye.